y'all. I'm meteorologist Michelle McCormick, and joining me today for Walking Weather, I have Special Olympics Florida, and I have JSO, and we're going to talk about the law enforcement torture. <laughs> Welcome. Tell us real quick your first name and what you do for Special Olympics. Yeah, my name is Cameron. I'm the manager for the Law Enforcement Torch Run uh, for Special Olympics Florida. Um, you know, I, I partner with uh, 300 plus agencies across the state, um, over 5,000 officers uh, to carry the torch uh, on a 1,500 mile relay across uh, Florida and uh, ending at the final leg of the opening ceremonies for the state summer games for Special Olympics Florida. And when is the one happening here in Duval County? It is Tuesday at 10 a.m. at the Police Memorial Building, downtown Jacksonville. Yeah, and what's your role in it? I'm uh, Lieutenant Clay Short. I'm one of the team putting this event on. All right. Part of that team. Well, I thank you guys for walking with me today. We actually have a nice camera guy helping us out too. Thank you, Big McGalucci with the JSO as well. Let's talk about the importance of this event. I've been in, involved in it in the past. It's really inspiring to see all the law enforcement and athletes come together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have a great partnership uh, with law enforcement. We've been doing it. This is our 41st year. Um, you know, we, we, we carry the, the torch all the way through Florida, every county, all 67 counties. Um, you know, we, we have uh, one of the best programs in the world here. Law Enforcement Torch Run is worldwide, all 50 states, including uh, D.C. And um, globally, the law enforcement since its inception in 1981 has raised over $1 billion for Special Olympics. So, you know, that was a huge Amazing. mile mark. Absolutely, yeah. Amazing. And Lieutenant Short, this is your first one? This is my first one. Um, I'm excited. It's going to be a, a good time. It's going to be well uh, well attended by multiple federal, state law enforcement agencies, and the public is welcome to join us. Well, and we're walking towards the fairgrounds in downtown Jacksonville, and that's where the end is. Cameron, what can we expect at the end of the race? Yeah, you can expect um, just a huge showing of law enforcement, um, just engaging with the community, being able to uh, sh tell everyone what we're doing there. You know, some people get a little nervous when there's a huge group of, of police officers, but <laughs> I can assure you that everything's okay and everything's doing it for a great cause. Well, I'll tell you what, we are in store for amazing weather on Tuesday. We might have some rain on Monday. It's going to move out, and we've been experiencing some really hot weather here in Jacksonville, like today. But I'll tell you what, on Tuesday, our high is only going to be 80, and in the morning at 10 a.m., it should be perfect weather for all the athletes. How many athletes are supposed to be showing up for this as well? Yeah, so we should have a good group of athletes, you know, probably a handful of between five and 10. Um, and they, they love the law enforcement torch run. They come out, they try to come out to every run. Um, I get contacts from them just trying to find out when the run is, where they're gonna be. And, um, you know, they love supporting the law enforcement and being able to run with them and carry the torch as well, so. Well, Cameron, thank you for coming. All Thanks this way to Duval County uh, sharing with us. Lieutenant Short, you are in for an amazing day we're, on Tuesday. We're excited. We're, uh, we're ready to go. We'll be ready. Thank you. You're welcome.